Tesla Cybercab Rob a Taxi, is this it? Hey Ave lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The bright yellow two-door allegedly has a Cybertruck-like rear light strip. A test mule of Tesla's upcoming Rob a Taxi has allegedly been spotted in Los Angeles. The vehicle will debut at the Warner Brothers Discovery Movie Studio on October 10th. A test mule of what seems to be Tesla's upcoming Rob a Taxi has been spotted by a Reddit user who claims to work at the Warner Brothers Studio in Los Angeles, where the reveal of the so-called Cybercab is slated to take place on October 10th. The bright yellow prototype in the photo embedded below appears to be a heavily camouflaged two-door with Model 3-like headlights. According to Boopity Smop, the user who posted the image, the car also has a full-width LED light strip at the rear akin to that of the Cybertruck. The whole thing looks like a life-size matchbox car, and it might turn out to be just a bad joke, so we're taking this with a grain of salt. But after throwing the location, the shape of the side windows and the vehicle's short wheelbase in the same bag, it leads us to believe that this could be Tesla's long-awaited self-driving taxi. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Mule and an Inside EV's rendering of what we believe the finished product will look like, based on patents and snippets extracted from various Tesla videos published over time. An illustration of the upcoming Tesla Cybercab was also published in Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk, as you can see below. In recent months, Musk has stopped referring to Tesla as being an all-electric vehicle manufacturer and has instead steered the conversation toward artificial intelligence and robotics and has long hinted at the idea that Tesla EVs, both old and new, could soon be part of a global network of autonomous vehicles that would go out and drive people on their own to the benefit of their owners. As a result, the upcoming Cybercab is a big deal for Tesla's outspoken CEO. Will it be the big revolution that Musk has touted? We're skeptical. The automaker's so-called autopilot and full self-driving, supervised features are still considered level two systems on SAE's autonomy chart. Furthermore, the legal framework currently in place still doesn't allow for fully autonomous vehicles roaming the streets and highways of the United States, so there's still some work to be done. That said, Tesla wants to make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible during next month's event. After slowing sales globally, the automaker, AI and robotics company, sorry, has been gathering mapping data in the area where the event will take place, according to Business Insider and famed Tesla hacker Green the Only. That makes sense from a performance standpoint, but it also goes against every one of Musk's statements on self-driving cars, who criticized rival automakers and rob taxi operators for relying on previously collected map data to make their driverless cars work in certain geofenced areas. We'll see what happens next month during the Tesla Cybercab reveal. If it will be anything like the Cybertruck reveal in 2019, set your timer for at least three years from now to check back on whether the vehicle is ready for prime time or not. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.